Hello guys, it is Crystal Water here, or you can call me Shade, my channel. I, I need to tell everyone this. Don't always call me Crystal or Crystal Water, that's just my channel. Um, you can call me Shade, or you can call me Quinzet. I go by any pronouns, but I prefer she, her, or... And as the middle one, I do they, them, and as my least favorite is he, him. But I do any pronouns because my my OC is a boy, and then I'm a female, so I don't really care what pronouns you call me. So today we are doing synth lore, synth wing lore, and all about them, or at least some of their lore, that I literally just came up with in a few minutes. So, I'm going to be doing a drawing of a synth wing, which means that this will be a pretty long video, and sadly I can't speed it up, because that's what happens when you do stuff like this. This actually probably won't be colored, but synth wings did originally have a ruler, and their ruler of them was very powerful and was all seeing. They actually were like a god at the time. Sadly, they lost their power over time. And then there was a new gods, like new gods that came in. And they took over, and the new gods were actually the crow wings. And the other goddesses at the, the other gods at the time were synth wings and scroll wings. We all know about squirrel wings, but sand wings aren't well seen. Same with squirrel wings, as both of them are very rare and hard to find. The god of the synth wings actually had two tails that acted as hands as their talons were disabled, so they used their own magic to make stuff. They don't cut they don't chat much and are very rarely seen chatting they prefer to be in dark places and will try to hide if they hear anyone coming in Since they only communicate in their own language of sounds, no one really understands them. Another reason why they're so rare and elusive is because they never can make friends, which is really sad. So this is one of the gods, and they were the all-seeing eye. I don't know why I can't draw eyes. There we go. They were the all-seeing eye, and as always, they were extremely strong and powerful. So once they were taken down, once they were taken down, they were never really to be seen often, and slowly lost their colors. Luckily, they gained their colors back a few years back after the war. But it was very sad because they were the most musical musical tribe out of all of the tribes out there. So every single dragon really didn't have any music until the musical tribes gained their color again. 
it was pretty sad at the time being. But over time, Simplings got a, like got forgotten and were never really talked about. They hid away, like I said before, and were never to be seen again for over 50 years. Once the war was done, they were seen back again, but then stayed elusive as they as they thought that no one knew about them anymore. And half of the time they were white, right? But over time, the younger dragons, the dragonettes, learned about these dragons and went on a hunt for them, as they wanted to bring them back and see how they would react to the new world that all the dragons have recreated. It is really sad though to see the characters that people make and how sad backstories are. They like the sad backstories they have. And I am nowhere near done with this story and it's probably never going to be finished. I want to make my own book series but I doubt that will ever happen because I am horrible at stuff. Or I want to find someone that will actually put me in one of their book series. I would cry if, I, if they, like, made a dragon version of me and put me in a book series or made, made a dragon based off of me. So, yeah, the, the god never actually had wings like their normal types of kind, like their normal kind of species. They literally just floated. And it was kind of weird for when they originally were doing it. I thought that I probably wouldn't get anyone to like the story because of it. But over time, some of my friends said that they liked it. So I decided to make this video and post it on YouTube. This is the finished art. And... I hope everyone enjoyed.